<laughs> Is that your sleepy walk, Tracker? Is that your sleepy walk? Oh, tripped on your dish. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Range. Oh, hi. Good afternoon, Earl Sam. You guys, the pups are so sleepy. I feel bad. I just woke them up, but it's like almost four o'clock. I just got done with editing. Oh, this one took me a while. Um, and some other work that I had to get done. I still have some more stuff I have to do, but that's okay. All is good and great in the world. My puppies are so funny. They're just so tired right now. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Rage, your man's getting pretty good with some chopsticks. So All he needs is a little bit of soy sauce. Oh, Chop, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like home cooking, though. Do you know what you're eating? Something really spicy right there. It is. It's spicy on the lips. It's like a piece of ginger or something. All right, we're at 16,000 feet, getting pretty high. You can see all the prayer flags around us. Uh, we made a quick pit stop, about an hour and a half from Tingri. All right, we have a science test for you. If you guys are wanting to know how high up we are and how little oxygen we have, Tom's about to light a match. All right, we welcome to Tingri, Tibet. We are getting close to Mount Everest. And What's your scientific name, Tom? Uh, my scientific name is Tommy Lama. Okay. 14,000 feet elevation. <laughs> That's a fail. We won't send this to him. We won't see this one. We won't, <laughs> won't send this to anybody. We won't see. Okay, we won't, we won't. All right, we'll do another take. And take two. Little science experiment here in Tingri, Tibet. The matches don't light very long. Human error. <laughs> <laughs> see how high we are, guys? <laughs> no oxygen. Wow, no right oxygen. <laughs> and take three. Ignore all the incense. <laughs> take nine. 14,000 feet elevation. Here we go. Let's see if we can light a match. Let's see if we can light a match. <laughs> Let's see if we can light a match. Wow. Pretty sure the altitude's getting to us. <laughs> the Wi-Fi is unbelievably fast, like the fastest in all of the world. We were just making boredom videos. Danger! Do you want to go down? Come on, you guys. He's terrified of this Chevy flag right here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Tracker's doing it. She walked by. Come on. Rage, why are you so scared? It's just a flag. Rage. <laughs> Ranger, is it really that scary? Huh? Is it that scary? Come on. It's alright. Come on. Come on, bud. Come on. Look, it's just a flag. It's... <laughs> Come on, please. Rage. Please, come on, what are you, I don't want to pull your neck, come on. Oh, you scared of the door now, okay, come on, come on, buddy. Oh, oh, oh you did, oh, okay, you're running fast, you're running fast. Oh, man. You guys, Ranger is terrified of that Chevy flag that's sitting in front of our house. He would not budge, that was so funny. Anyways, I think I'm about to take them on a walk. I was just taking them out to potty, but I think they really need a walk, so I'm gonna go in and get Tracker's leash right now. Come on, let's go. Your sissy's already outside. Come on, let's go. It's a lot harder to do this when I got two of you. Come on, stop being a baby. You're such a baby. Come on, let's go. No, no, you wanna go on a walk, but you're gonna make me carry you, really? Well guys, they actually had to carry Ranger out of the house because he was too chicken to go past the sign. Anyways, I'm on my iPhone because I didn't want to bring my vlogging camera because they're pretty rough. 
on the walk when it's just me. So here we go. All right, guys, welcome to my letter reading chair. Getting comfy over here. Got my box of letters. Gonna read a letter. Let's see what happens. And by what happens, I just mean I'm not gonna cry because I'm not going down that road. So hopefully this is funny versus sad. <laughs> okay, let's see if I should read this out loud. I don't know what kind of read and if I decide I don't want to share it, then sorry, you guys are missing out. All right, Rachel, what a wild few, few years it's been. Crazy that you've been married for almost a year now and I'm living my crazy cliche single gal life in the New York City PR world. Shay, it must be, yep, it's from Shay. Um, I can't imagine what it must be like to be as selfless as you because I'm the most self-centered person ever and could imagine letting someone do something like what Harold is doing. It's definitely going to be a challenge, but imagine how great it's going to be when it's complete. You owe it to yourself to get out of your comfort zone during this time and seek new adventures and challenges on your own and really explore for yourself and do things you can only do on your own. Wishing you comfort and peace during his absence and don't be afraid to get a little crazy and treat yourself. Miss you and come see me anytime. Love, Shay. Oh, that was really cool. Okay, so this is from one of my best friends, Shay. She was one of my bridesmaids. I lived with her my sophomore year in college. Um, and that's so funny. Just the things that she said. She she said, um, gosh, what did it say? Like, she challenged me to like get out of my comfort zone and like seek new adventure. And you guys, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it, Shay. I'm doing it for you. Not really, I'm doing it for me, but oh my gosh, that's pretty neato. That's funny because I texted her yesterday uh, when I was deciding about Ireland. And I was like, do you want to go to Ireland with me? <laughs> and she was like, wait, what? <laughs> she couldn't though because she has like a business trip or whatever. But Shay, I know you're not watching this, but if you are, I'm going on adventures. I'm listening to you. So that's pretty cool. I was reflecting on it today and just, I'm kind of surprised, honestly, about how I'm handling this whole thing uh, because like the week leading up to it, maybe the two weeks leading up to it, basically that whole time when he um, was gone in the field, I was struggling, like hardcore struggling. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is gonna be really, really hard on me. And I was just like really scared for safety to be completely honest. Um, and you know, I just, I know it's God that's given me this sense of peace that everything's, you know, okay and everything's in his hands and it just, the fact that you guys are all lifting those prayers up to God is just like so comforting, so, so comforting. Um, so thank you, thank you so much. I, I can never, ever, ever thank you enough uh, just for, for praying for Harold and for praying for me. We got some super cute local dogs. Ever heard of the, uh, the Horton face before? <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> Hello. 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 Partially flying car. Wait for it. It's got another tire <laughs> underneath there. It's crazy looking. Still trying to figure it out here. Okay. You need a snap in here as well. Do a Snapchat. Okay. You guys, I'm on my way to PetSmart right now because the other day the puppies ran out of puppy food. So I had to run to the store, like literally for them to eat dinner and they didn't have their puppy food. So I got them this other kind and the last few days they have been having like these smelly sparts and it just, I just don't think it's good for them. So I'm going to PetSmart, gonna get them some good food because this ain't flying. So that's what we're doing right now. I left the puppies at home, they're in their crate. Hopefully we can do this fast casually walking in the street. Uh, so I got the dog food check and then I realized, uh, holy crap, we have to get the oil changed. You have to get it changed every like 5,000 miles for like the warranty or something. And it was just over like three, I don't know if that car was honking at me, I don't know what the deal is. Um, but they didn't even have the sticker from when they had changed it beforehand. I don't know, well it's almost at 4,000, so I was like, I need to get this done. So I dropped it off, it's like 6.15, they said it's gonna be done at seven, so I'm like, okay, well there's a Hobby Lobby over here, so that's where I'm going right now. Hope the dogs are okay. I'm home, got the oil taken care of, and uh, voila, a whole bag of salad in one bowl, all for me, that's my dinner, that's what I'm eating, a whole bag of salad, an entire bag of salad. I'm about to crush this too right now. I have found almost everything ever written about love to be true. 
Shakespeare said, journeys end in lovers meeting. Oh, what an extraordinary thought. Okay, so I'm watching the holiday and there's a tear. There's a tear, you guys. There's a tear. <laughs> it's okay, Range. It's okay. <laughs> oh, there's a tear. <laughs> okay, back to the show. This part, you guys, this is what's getting to me. Woo. This movie is getting me good. <laughs> Y'all, this moment. This moment right here. Woo. <laughs> I think this is like number four. <laughs> movie this can't be good well guys it's almost midnight and i was planning on doing a lot of editing tonight but instead i decided to watch a movie because i haven't had any just like downtime relaxing time i've just kind of been like go 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 on a lot of things so it was really good but also made me very emotional so it's kind of like i stay busy and then i'm like really good at handling everything and when I just allow myself to let everything look at it, <laughs> everything set in, then it kind of hits me. Um, especially like love stuff, of course, you know. So, whoo, cried, but I'm pretty good now. And the pups are seriously like, Mom, it's time for bed. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna go to bed now. I gotta take them out. And y'all, I don't think I even mentioned this yet. I think my mom and my grandmother are coming up tomorrow night. I don't know, it was kind of this last minute thing of my grandma wants to go see where she was like born and stuff. I think she was born there at least. Um, and then it's kind of like close to where I'm at. So they're going to stay here until like Friday or something. Uh, so yeah, they might be here tomorrow. Not completely sure. It's kind of still up in the air, but we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Sorry about the tears. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll hear from Harold. I don't know if I mentioned that. I heard from him tonight. Um, they left this morning, which is our nighttime, and drove to Old Tingri. So they were in New Tingri. Now they're driving to Old Tingri, and that's their last spot before ever space camp. So, wow. And he also said pretty much as soon as he gets on um, Everest, he's not going to be able to send me any more vlog footage. So, yeah. That stinks. But... Oh well, <laughs> is what it is, and I have lots of adventures, so I'll be sharing all that stuff with you guys. Anyways, love God, love people, make a difference, and be thankful, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. So I waited, and I talked to him about it last night, and he said I could go. So I booked a flight to Ireland, and I'm going to Ireland. What? Holy cow, I'm going to Ireland. I'm going to Ireland. I'm going to Ireland. Me, Ireland. What? I'm so, oh yes, yes.